すべての人間は道具でしかない家庭は関係ないどんな犠牲を払おうと構わないこの世は勝つことがすべてだ最後に俺が勝ってさえいればそれでいい Kiyotaka Ayano Koji. When we first watched him, we saw that he was just an ordinary character, nothing outstanding about him. The more we watch this series, the more we realize that he is the most perfect character in this anime. Classroom of the Elite. He excels in all areas throughout the story, and we have never seen any prominent flaws in this character. We see his academic abilities, sports, martial arts, above average analytical skills, and even manipulation of others. He refuses to show any of his abilities to others. He does not want to stand out at all. However, what makes him like this? What is the reason behind all of his actions? How does he think? What is his philosophy? Ayano Koji was born and raised in the White Room, a secret educational institution with the goal of creating perfect human beings. Here, they want to create a perfect environment for people to achieve their highest superiority. In this white room, everyone is trained rigorously in many different fields, such as liberal arts, science, martial arts, combat techniques, and a wealth of worldly wisdom, all at or above professional levels. All the children in the white room can develop to a certain level, but no one can achieve the institution's set target, except for one person. Kiyotaka Ayano Koji. Ayano Koji became the best among all the students there. No matter how difficult the training program was, he could surpass it perfectly, exceeding all expectations. Ayano Koji became the most outstanding and perfect human being among the others. For those who are not familiar with Ayano Koji, they might consider him as an ordinary student. Even his presence does not dominate and does not stand out. Perhaps those around him assume that he is apathetic due to his quiet nature. Not only that, Ayano Koji also appears to never and perhaps cannot express his emotions. Even his way of speaking and expression seems flat. His cold and calm nature in all situations makes Ayano Koji a different character. He also seems to be not good at social interaction with his friends and very solitary. Perhaps in his environment, he seems very strange and uninteresting. Even appearing not very intelligent because he always gets average grades. During his first introduction in class, he himself stated that he is not skilled or talented in any field, truly like a pitiful person. But what is the reason for saying all of this? Why does he want to hide everything? His quiet and not very talkative nature might only be underestimated by others. But behind that, he quietly observes every event he sees, analyzes all situations. Ayano Koji is able to analyze the nature and personality of others accurately. Just by observing their actions, he processes information and data obtained from something he sees. On the first day he entered school, he observed and analyzed the nature and actions of Yusuke Hirata, who at that time invited all his classmates to introduce themselves. Ayano Koji saw Yusuke as a driving force and suitable to be a leader, so he drew a conclusion. And predicted that Yusuke would definitely become the class president. After Yusuke, the next person to introduce herself is Kikyu Kushida, a cheerful and friendly individual who aims to be close and make friends with everyone. Ayano Koji predicts that Kushida will become a well known and popular figure in the school. Through this introduction, Ayano Koji successfully assesses the nature of his friends and anticipates their positions in the class. His excellent observational and analytical skills. Enable him to predict their thoughts and actions, making it a crucial component in his ability to manipulate others to achieve his desires. For example, by carefully observing and obtaining information about the school rules and the point system given to each student, Ayano Koji maximizes this to his advantage. He uses these points to purchase, including buying exam questions from a senior two years ago, ensuring Class D gets leaked questions and achieves good grades. During a survival test on an island, Ayano Koji strategically plans and executes complex scenarios after analyzing the rule that allows the replacement of a group leader. 
First, he damaged the camera Ibuki because he was a spy, so Ibuki had to directly steal the group leader's card from Class D. Then Ayana Koji waited until Horikita's condition worsened, because at that time she was sick, then created a situation where Horikita showed her card in front of Ibuki so he could steal Horikita's card. After that, Ayano Koji created panic by setting a fire to give Ibuki a chance to escape, which made Horikita have to chase and confront her until her condition really deteriorated, and finally, the group leader could be replaced for clear reasons. All of this was designed so that he could win the ongoing competition. From here, we know that every decision made by Ayano Koji has a significant impact in the future. He thinks comprehensively, meaning considering all aspects, cause and effect, the benefits and drawbacks of a decision that may affect the behavior of others in an event. So from this thinking ability creates a chain reaction and causes changes in related behaviors. For example, like the scenario created by Ayana Koji to win the survival test. We learn that thinking holistically can make every decision we make in life must be carefully considered, looking far ahead so that everything can run smoothly without any obstacles. Due to Ayano Koji's high intelligence, he ultimately chose not to provide personal information he has, he didn't even show all of his abilities for that reason, he knew that being conspicuous is truly detrimental because others will easily obtain information about him, just like what he did. In Ayano Koji's mind, all information is important and can be used. A little information about oneself can be used by others to manipulate us. The only way not to be beneath others is by not leaking any information about oneself to anyone. That's why he created protection to appear inconspicuous and ordinary, so that others cannot manipulate him. His poker face is intentionally created, with no expression at all, so that others cannot predict his actions and thoughts. This hidden nature, similar to Ayano Koji's, actually serves as a genius act of protection to prevent others from easily obtaining all information and analysis from him. Hiding one's true nature, as Ayano Koji does, is actually a human thing. Each of us surely has different sides in life. Not just Ayano Koji, but also Sakura, Kushida, Horikita, and Karuizawa do the same. Therefore, we don't need to be surprised or disappointed to know that there is another side of someone's nature that they hide from us, because everyone does that. François de la Rochefoucauld, a French moralist, once said, There is no need to be disappointed when others hide the truth from us, while we still hide the truth from ourselves. According to Professor Takio Doi, these two sides of human nature are called Hone and Tadamai, are called Hone, referring to one's true feelings or desires, which are the genuine face of a person shown only to themselves, while Tatame is the behavior shown to the world, society, and others which reflects what is expected and required according to one's social position. Tatamai leads to self-deception in order to fit the character needed by the world, even though it may not be our true desire. Influenced by humans' ability to adapt, it all shows that most of human life always wears a facade filled with lies, and the true nature of humans cannot be freely used due to social demands and circumstances. However, Concealing our true nature and abilities, as Ayano Koji did, is not an easy task. It requires skill to hide abilities, feelings, emotions, expressions, and personality. Another reason for Ayano Koji not to show his talents and abilities is because he does not want to appear arrogant. He is aware that arrogance will only lead to bad decisions and regrets in life. Like the story of Icarus in Greek mythology, who flew too close to the sun with arrogance and confidence, causing the wax on his wings to melt and leading to his downfall. William Shakespeare also said that, Foolish people consider themselves wise, but wise people know themselves to be foolish. Just like Ryuen, who was very confident, thinking he could defeat Ayano Koji, the opposite happened. Ayano Koji, with his calm and reserved nature, was able to defeat him single-handedly. From here, we learn that we should never underestimate or belittle others, because sometimes those we underestimate are even better than ourselves. Apart from his intellectual abilities, Ayano Koji also has physical abilities above average, which are needed in some situations. When the sports competition started, Ayano Koji knew that the essence of this event was different from previous special exams. Just like a sports festival, 
This time it's the physical abilities that are being tested. In other words, using specific skills and tricks won't make a big impact as previously done. The key to winning this event is to prepare before it starts. Unlike Horikita who wants to think about strategies and ways to win the competition. That's why Ayana Koji is trained not only in intelligence but also physically. Another thing we can learn from Ayana Koji is his constant vigilance against all possibilities and not easily being complacent in any situation. When all the students in Class D were told they would receive 100,000 points every month, it made them complacent and they bought all the things they wanted extravagantly, but not Ayano Koji. He was vigilant and considered that everything must have consequences, so in the end, Class D was not given points the following month. Additionally, during classes, many students play, sleep, and skip classes, but strangely, this behavior is not reprimanded by the teacher. They all continue to do what they do without feeling anything strange, but not Ayano Koji. He is aware of the situation because he is always vigilant. Ayano Koji views everything not only from the positive side, but also from the negative side. He realizes that consequences will always exist. There is no such thing as light without darkness or positivity without negativity. In Stoicism, there is something called premeditatio malorum, which is about being prepared for the worst possible outcomes. Everything surely has consequences, so we should not be complacent in any situation because it will backfire on ourselves. Therefore, premeditatio malorum reminds us that there will always be bad things that can happen to us at any time, and the only thing we can do is to be prepared to face all the possible negative outcomes. However, not everything possessed by Ayano Koji is good to emulate. Even though he is depicted as a perfect person, he is not a good figure to be a role model in morality. Ayano Koji is not a good person, not someone who can be a role model, he might just use other people to get what he wants. In psychology, Ayano Koji is referred to as Machiavellianism. Individuals with this personality trait are cunning, manipulative, and driven to use any means necessary to gain power. Ayano Koji himself stated in one episode that he sees all humans as mere tools for him to achieve his goals until he emerges victorious in the end. He appears to do this throughout the series, one example being when he used Ichinose's points to buy a CCTV, and also used Horikita as a shield to protect himself from standing out by claiming that all the scenarios he planned were entirely Horikita's actions. Furthermore, he used Karuizawa as a reliable tool or pawn by manipulating her. Ayano Koji once said, Ayano Koji's perspective is directed towards one goal, which is to be able to win in life, no matter by any means, even by manipulating others as tools. In the end, for him, Winning is everything. In the book The Prince, written by Niccolo Machiavelli, he explains that life is about gaining as much power as possible, regardless of the methods used to obtain it. In his book, he details how a leader should act in political situations. Ayano Koji internalizes this philosophy, becoming its embodiment. He becomes this way because of the White Room program, designed to create a perfect politician with the hope of advancing Japan in the future. Although this philosophy may have some merits in political reality, it is not a good trait to possess due to the lack of morality it entails. Manipulative nature will only bring negative consequences to the actor and those around them. The desire to be manipulative will only damage people's perceptions of us and destroy the relationships we have with others, leading to negative consequences for the individual and society as a whole. From this character, we can see a person who maximizes all of their abilities, a figure that may seem perfect. However, Ayano Koji himself never considers himself perfect, aware that there must be someone more perfect than him, which makes him humble. Ayano Koji does not excessively love himself, never intending to seek validation or recognition from others, not even aiming to rise to class A, as all of that means nothing to him having already achieved everything and reached a different level. Nevertheless, he still has the goal of paying attention to and advancing Class D behind the scenes, being the mastermind behind all the achievements in that class. 
we can see two different sides of Ayana Koji. On one hand, this character can be a role model for being competent and humble, but on the other hand, we know that he does it for another unethical purpose. He sees all humans as his tools, willing to do anything and manipulate others to achieve his goals, sacrificing everything to ultimately win. Although it may seem cool to be like Ayano Koji, it is not good to make him a role model because it leads to unethical actions that will ultimately harm oneself and others around us. In the end, no matter how smart and strong we are, the most important aspect is self-control. We learn that to achieve our goals, we must be patient and wise, and also keep ourselves on the right path, a path full of wisdom. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit that like button and smash the subscribe for more. Remember, the fun doesn't stop here. Check out our other videos for more exciting content. Until next time, stay curious, stay inspired, and keep exploring. See you in the next video. Thank you.